はじめまして、えー、私の名前は池田夏樹です、えー、福岡日本の福岡というところから来ました、えー、3年前にペン,スペンスバニア州立大学に来て、えー、国際政治学を勉強しています、um, What I just said is my name is Natsuki、um, I'm from Fukuoka, Japan、um, I came here three years ago to study international politics Great, well Natsuki could you tell us about Different kinds of Japanese, or is all Japanese the same?、Um, we have a very strong dialect depending on the region.、Um, for example,、uh, my, my grandparents would have a really, really strong accent based on where they live.、Um, so I, don't, I sometimes don't understand what my grandpa is saying, and I actually thought my grandpa is fighting with somebody and asked my grandma, Is he fighting? And she goes, No, it's a normal way of his. Speaking, so that's not much different. So, here in the US, we're used to dialects being, you know, just kind of a little bit of an accent、mm-hmm. or a different word, but in Japan, you might not even understand someone from a different no, part. We use totally different w o r d or a lot of different endings of the sentence.、Um, for example, I would say, I would ask、um, that who, who just came here?、Um, the standard way of saying, saying would be, Dare ga kimashita ka? Um, but then the way I would say would be d a g a k i t a d o So that's really different. I think you guys can hear that too. <laughs> yeah, pretty dramatic difference. There's some other really dramatic differences in Japanese, and one of them is about politeness. Can、mm-hmm. you tell us about that?、Um, it is one of the most difficult things for foreign speaker, foreigners to learn Japanese, I believe.、Um, we, it depends on the age, I think, that it, The language changes so much that you have to use different kind of word, you kind of, different kind of conjugation, and so forth.、Um, the example, I can try to conjugate the verb say.、Um, the standard、um, word of to say is you,、uh, which becomes imasu. That's like semi formal. If somebody really higher position said something, they use. You would say,、uh, if I'm saying something to somebody older, somebody important, you would say, so that kind of thing. The word itself changes,、uh, conjugation changes, and so forth. I think it's just really difficult. <laughs> so, when you're speaking to someone, you have to think not only about their position or their status, but your own and、exactly. relation to them. In relation to them,、uh, it, I, is the, the other person older than you, or is the other person. Has higher、uh, social status, like maybe president of the company or some, something. Even in the school,、um, you have to use polite way of saying to older students.、Um, the older students are called senpai.、Um, for example, like from junior to senior,、um, the junior students would have to address senior students, say, like Mark senpai or something like that, to address them and then use the polite way of speaking to them, even if. The other person is one year older than you. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting. Another thing that Japanese does that's pretty different from English is the order it puts some of the words in.、Mm-hmm. How is that different?、Um, the biggest difference is we put verb at the end of the sentence.、Um, so I blah blah say or something like that.、Um, so that makes the game, the Simon says, really, really exciting.、Um, here you would hear. Simon says not to do something quite early and in the sentence, but in Japanese you don't hear not to say something until the very end. So you have to kind of have to be ready to do something or not to do something, and it just makes the game really exciting. And so it all depends on the very last word、right. in the sentence. So, say,、uh, raise your hand, you have to wait until the end.、Uh, so, te o agemasu or agemasen, like the end of the word changes, so you have to be like this.、Mm. Very cool.、Um, what was the hardest or some of the hardest things about English for you while you were learning it?、Um, I'm actually I'm still struggling with articles.、Um, we don't have the concept of a or the,、um, so I still don't know when to put that kind of thing.、Um, and conjugating verb is also di- difficult.、Uh, conjugating verb according to the subject is something new to me too. And so in Japanese, then you don't conjugate verbs by the subject. But not by the subject, but by the age and your social status. That's the critical point. <laughs> Very interesting. Thank you so much, Natsuki. Thank you.